government to release ex governor Oji Uzokalu. According to the Minister of Interior, Ralph or Rauf Arabeshola, Nigerian government will be freeing 2,600 inmates in various prisons in a bid to curb the spread of the COVID 19 in the country. While speaking to newsmen on Thursday, he said, Inmates to be released includes those from 60 years and above, especially those suffering from ill health, likely to end in debt, serving at least three years and have less than six months to serve. Persons with mental issues and with options of fine not exceeding 50,000 naira are among those to be considered for the state pardon. He went on to say that governors of the 36 states under whose jurisdiction most of the inmates were incarcerated will complete the exercise in line with the federal principle. The pardon seemed to benefit those close to the corridors of power. The ex-governor likely to benefit from it includes Senator Joshua Darie, former governor of Plato State, Jolly Inyame, former governor of Taraba State, and Oju Zokalu, former Abia State governor, who will be 60 by April 21st. Since the news broke out, there have been mixed reactions. One of the commentators said, a government that gives amnesty and pardon to terrorists and militia that slaughtered its soldiers and citizens will surely ignore its masses and pardon the thieves who looted their national wealth. Very simple stuff. Another was on the opinion that it was the right thing to do considering the dangerous nature of the COVID-19. Alright guys, it's what it is. What are your thoughts on this particular issue? From the look of things, the way things you know, have actually been going in this country, one would know that if you are not in the corridors of power, and if you're not probably influential or wealthy, you probably might, you know, be on the uh, little side or on the losing side. But be that as it may, the challenge is that the challenge here is that Nigeria is a country where money, when uh, money talks, bullshit works. Nigeria is a country whereby the law seems to benefit a sect of people, you know, more than the others. Nigeria is a country whereby, you know, riches, affluence, you know, goes a long way to decide, you know, how you are treated, you know, who you meet and um, what you do. So based on all this, what would expect that this issue is actually um, expected to favor this set of politicians mentioned in the news above also because they are rich they are influential and they are close to the corridors of power but be that as it may it is said to be a presidential pardon and if a presidential pardon is actually signed and given nobody has the right to question it now it is being speculated that Oji Zokalu will be released the conditions released uh, mentioned by the Minister of Interior Rauf Arabeshola you know probably might uh, capture the uh, might capture uh, Oji Zokalu in some ways, probably as a result of ill health, the age-wise, and uh, so one or two other factors. Or be that as it may, guys, do you expect that Ojuzokalu can be released anytime soon? 
do you expect him to actually be released anytime soon based on whatever um, reason the federal government is trying to decongest the prison as a result of the COVID-19 disease that is no that is actually you know hitting the populace so from the look of things it seemed that releasing about 2600 persons from you know prison would go a long way to help solve and um, you know decongest the prison so i think it is on this that the federal government is considering this or has come up with the factors or those who can benefit so those who fall into this category would benefit they are the ones that would make the choices or would make that would choose so guys are there no other nigerians aside these politicians are there no other nigerians who meet these criteria and should be given this or given high priority than ojizo kalu is a question are there other are there no other nigerians because it's been reported it has been reported some time that you know a lot many there are many people who are held in prison who are yet without taking to court or who are yet to be taken to the court they are not being prosecuted but they are kept there so what happens to these ones will they continue to be there these are some of the people that i feel or i believe should enjoy this pardon at this particular point in time don't forget that some persons have already been granted presidential pardon and released from prison some names like um, ambrose ali and some other you know famous names so be that as it may if the government is releasing people from prison or trying to grant presidential pardon those who just you know entered you know it is um it is actually just um ordinary or normal for people to expect that such people will not benefit but there are insinuations and there are um sniffings around that ojiz okalu might benefit from the presidential pardon and one would ask when has he been he he just you know he's just been it's not been a long time it's not been too long that he you know got into there so probably some people will say he shouldn't be part of it he has yeah he fight for a post-conviction bill as a result of his health and what have you but was denied although his uh, counterpart was said to have been granted post-conviction bill but it was rejected in Ojo Zokalu's case so guys based on health grounds and based on um, the fact that he's still a seventh senator do you consider that Ojo Zokalu could should be released you know or should benefit from the presidential pardon these are uh, you know questions that needs to be answered so guys do you agree or do you believe or do you want Ojiz Okalu to be released, you know, should he benefit from the presidential pardon? It's what it is. Do you believe, do you want him to benefit from the presidential pardon? If he benefits from the presidential pardon, then um, he will be back to the Senate and uh, he will be back to living his life normally. So what will then happen? What will be the implication of that? What will people say and how will people see the fight against corruption how will people see the administration you recall that um, uh, during the Jonathan's era you know former governor of Bayelsa state uh, governor DSP Alamisia you know was granted a presidential pardon by good luck Jonathan and one would vividly understand Jonathan's case because that was his boss and um, he had been in prison for a number of years until you know Jonathan made that move so but in this case Buhari APC Ojiz Okalu an APC member and even a seventh senator do you think that they might be they might want to you know um, assist him or you know find a way to help their member their member in this particular crucial time and situation 
Well, guys, the COVID-19 disease is a major issue. And if they feel that they want to release a good number of prisons, right, so be it. They are the government. Well, it's what it is. What are your thoughts on this particular news story? Can you drop it in the comment section? Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you so much, guys. And bye for now.